Um, Vivian, you usually play a three, but you played the four today. What was that like? Um, I'm actually more used to the four. This is the first year I played the three, so the four is kind of more on my element, so it wasn't bad. And taking a jump ball, what was that like when Coach called you on that? Oh, I did that last year, too. I've done that my whole career. I didn't do it well today. I'm a little out of practice, but it wasn't bad anything. Yeah. Jaden, you had back-to-back -back threes in the fourth quarter. How big were those shots for you guys? Uh, I think it was a big momentum shifter. Um, I think we were they were within five at that point, I think. But um, my teammates did a good job of getting me open in the zone and putting me in a good position. You seemed pretty disappointed you didn't hit that third one. I know. Course. I was so close. It was so close. But, yeah. Uh, as a team, you guys had a significant size advantage. How do you think that reflected on your gameplay? I think we went with a smaller lineup today. Uh, they were small and they're quick, so we tried to go with a smaller team, like put our smaller, quicker people out there, and it worked well. And then once our fives got in there, they bullied some people around, and they did good too. Early on, it kind of seemed like their zone was giving you guys a little bit of trouble. What kind of adjustments do you feel like you made throughout the game? Uh, I think we just did a good job of – we had to get into our offense. I think that was the problem at first. Um, we were kind of hesitant on what we were running because we couldn't quite figure out what they were running at some times, at some point. So I think once we figured out what specific defense they're in, then we got into our offense, and then that's where we were successful. Good. Thanks. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Guys, uh, you never take winning for granted, and I'm, I'm appreciative of finding a win. Uh, not real pleased the way we played, but uh, uh, it's a group that we got to continue to work with and get better, and we got to find some answers uh, on the offensive end of the floor. Uh, we're searching right now, playing a lot of different people, and trying to find somebody that'll step up and. Uh, uh, get that third or fourth, fifth position for us. Uh, we've got to get more people scoring the basketball and uh, definitely got to rebound the ball a lot better than we did tonight. Uh, not a typical game because of uh, the height advantage. Is that why you chose to play small ball throughout? You know, they set a lot of on-ball screens to, to start, and we had the plan to switch on it. And... Uh, you know, we did all right. We did all right defensively when you hold somebody to 12 and then you hold them to six in the second quarter. We were fine playing small ball, but uh, um, this weren't very good with either lineup offensively. So we got to figure some things out and find out what works for us. And we haven't got a long time to do that with a turnaround on Tennessee. They may have started to make a run in the fourth quarter, cut the lead to five, uh, and then you call a timeout. What kind of adjustments do you feel like you made out of that? Well, timeout? the adjustment we made, we had Vivian Gray in at a high post, and we switched Braxton Miller to the point, give us a little more size to look over the zone. We went inside out, and we threw the ball to the right corner twice, and Jaden Hobbs hit two threes out of the right corner. So that was the adjustment that we made out of the timeout, was basically moving Braxton. Miller to the point and giving Jaden Hobbs an opportunity to, to shoot the ball on the wing. Uh, both of your centers played considerably limited time. How do you think they played like in the short time that they did? Well, they got to play better, and they're, they're both trying to figure it out one, right now. One of them is coming to us and then never played a Division One game. She's a JUCO kid, and, and then we've got uh, a freshman coming in too. So. They're trying to feel their way around. Uh, their, their effort's always good. Their attitude's always good. They're coachable. But uh, they just haven't figured it out at this time. And on seven of your team's offensive rebounds, it led to quick baskets. How do you think the battle in the paint was offensively? Um, you know, offensively, overall, we got to get some point production out of our post players. And uh, we got a little bit out of Cassidy. and in the second half and she established herself low and and did some nice things so we've always wanted to have an inside out attack but uh, we got to get much better of, of scoring at the paint and having a different option at the block. Vivian had 23 points tonight, 14 of them in the third quarter. What did you think about her performance? It was good. Uh, we made an adjustment of getting her to the high post. We had had a, a post player in there and uh, I just felt like we needed to get a playmaker in there, somebody that could rise up and shoot it, get the defense uh, uh, 
where they they uh, got bunched up and then kick it out, and I think it was a nice adjustment. We put her in a area where she has a comfort level of shooting the ball 12 to 15 feet. You mentioned she made a couple of nice passes out of the high post as well. How happy were you with that? No, I'm, you know, that's good. Uh, she, uh, she was in a position where she could facilitate uh, through the pass and, and scorn, and any time you could get the ball to the high post, uh, it contracts the defense and allows you to, to make some threes on the perimeter. And early on, I heard you yell to move the ball a couple times. Do you feel like that started to do? You started to do a better job of that. It, it was a little better as as we went on, but we're uh, we're a little predictable offensively. Uh, we throw it to one wing, get it back, throw it to the other wing. We gotta we gotta use some ball fakes. Uh, we gotta fake one way and go the other way. So we gotta get where we're not so predictable offensively. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. See you on Saturday. See ya.